Hi, Dennis from Caravan Cooking. Welcome to the channel. This is young Tilly. She joined our family yesterday. This is my 27th recipe video. And if there's one recipe going to cook, this is the one. Lamb shanks and red wine sauce cooked in a camp oven. Enjoy the video. So every great meal starts with great ingredients and these lamb shanks are bought from our local butcher in um, Portland, New South Wales. Look at that quality, beautiful. We cryovac the um, meat like this before we go on big trips. We can then keep it refrigerated or even chuck it in the freezer and pull out a couple of days before um, we use them so they thaw out properly. So we just uh, press this button here and that um, sucks the air out of the package as you can see. Then the other light's coming on because it's sealing the top of the package now. That makes sure that um, there's no air getting in to spoil the lamb shanks. In this case we're doing two lots of two. This is a camp made fire pit alternative. We've got it on our metal table. And we're just filling there the, um, the little shelf with the heat beads. And the camp oven, the the camp oven will sit on top of that um, that little shelf with the heat beads on it. Nice and hot. Then we whack on the camp um, the camp oven, and we're adding two tablespoons of olive oil. When it's nice and hot, we drop in two of the lamb shanks. We're going to brown the outside and that'll really add flavor to the dish. And putting on the lid helps to retain the heat there in the camp oven while those lamb shanks are browning. Then we flip them over to brown the other side. I must buy a new pair of tongs, I keep saying that. When they're browned all over, remove them, um, the lamb shanks and set them aside on a tray. Then repeat with the other two lamb shanks. Then chuck in one finely diced brown onion. Sizzling away there. Three teaspoons of crushed garlic. I just find it really simple to use the ready-made stuff. You can give that a bit of a mix in. Just cook that till it's uh, translucent and then we're going to add one large carrot which we finely diced as well. Then a couple of slurps of uh, red wine, about two cups worth I suppose. Come on, let's be generous. Let's add some more red wine. It really adds to the flavor. Okay, so two cups of chicken stock, you might call it chicken broth, we call it chicken stock in Australia. Give it a bit of a stir around.
there's some crushed tomatoes. I like to use the Australian grown ones. I um, like to support our local industry. You can get cheaper ones from overseas, I suppose. But we're adding two cans of crushed tomatoes. Give that a bit of a stir in. Two tablespoons of tomato sauce. Sorry, tomato paste. Two tablespoons of tomato paste. I find these little sachets pack really well and uh, a good space saving when you're caravan and camping. Quick mix. Oh, two bay leaves, chuck them in. Two teaspoons of dried thyme. Then a dash of pepper and a dash of salt. It's always good to season with salt and pepper, especially when you're cooking meat. And chuck your lamb shanks back in to the red sauce, to, uh, red wine sauce to continue cooking and absorbing all those flavours. You might have seen the first one there had a temperature probe in it, in one of those shanks, and that'll connect to my Inkbird app on my phone via the Bluetooth. The lid's back on. Now I'm connecting the um, the Bluetooth to my app. So medium lamb takes about well about 66 to 70 degrees Celsius cooking. So you can see it's currently there at 27 degrees. The beauty of having the um, thermometer like that is you it minimizes the num number of times you have to take the lid off to see whether the lamb's cooked or not. It's always important to have heat on the top of your camp oven lid. That's really going to help that uh, those lamb shanks to cook all the way through. Now the, those keen uh, viewers of you will see that I've put um, uh, charcoal on there, actual timber, not heat beads, because I basically I ran out of heat beads. And then also the temperature became so hot that my um, camera was getting really hot as well, so I had to really adjust it and uh, move the camera up. The heat was rising there. So there's the empty bag of heat beads. And I was so remote you can't just pop into a shop and get more heat beads so I just had to burn some wood and use the charcoal from that. The heat was really rising. As I said that camera was too close. So I've used a spun steel camp oven. Um, I find them uh, when I'm traveling I prefer spun steel to cast iron. Cast iron is quite heavy and uh, spun steel is light but also cast iron if you drop it can crack where um, the spun steel won't crack at all and also the spun steel camp oven is a lot easier to wash up so when i'm traveling spun steel camp oven when i'm at home um, i quite often use cast iron including furphy i've got a, a big old furphy cast iron which is um if you're australian you'll know about furphy they're very famous The other thing to, to remember is make sure, if you can, the lamb shanks ideally will be under the sauce, not on top. Not always possible, but um, you get a better result if the lamb shanks are um, under that liquid. Also make sure the lid's on properly. You don't want any anything to escape. That's a welding glove I'm using there just to take the lid off. You can see the heat coming out of there. It's really hot. Beautiful. And the smell is fantastic. It's 
So I must admit lamb is my favourite meat and I'm pretty happy with that result there too. So serve on a bed of mashed potatoes. We had enough left over for lunch the next day. Um, we had uh, one each for that evening and one each for lunch the next day. As I said in the intro, this is Tilly. Tilly is short for Matilda, a great old Australian name, and uh, Tilly is a great Australian dog, so she's a stumpy tail. Australian blue catalogue, full bred. Uh, beautiful, just eight weeks old, as I said, joined the family yesterday. If you'd like to see more of Tilly in the videos, uh, just put place in the comments below. We love Tilly, she's gorgeous. This is Dennis from Caravan Cooking. Thanks for watching. Hooroo.